Hi everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another PD Toots tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at project management. Proper project management will ensure that everything goes smoothly, especially when doing larger or more complicated projects. And it will also ensure that you don't wind up losing some of your project's assets and getting any of those dreaded black screen segments because you accidentally renamed or moved some of your source files. So, before starting a project, create a new temporary working folder for that project. For this tutorial, I named my temporary working folder Project Management 2. Then place a copy of everything you anticipate using in your production into this temporary working folder. Now that you've done this little bit of pre-production by organizing your project's assets, you can open your power director. Once opened, before you do anything else, go to the power director preferences window by clicking on the little gear icon. Then click on File in the menu and browse for and set the export folder to be that very same working folder that you created. And now, as you continue to build your production, all your project assets, including PDS saves, produced test renders, snapshots, everything will go into and always be housed in your temporary working folder. And remember, after you've sent something to this working folder, never move or delete or rename anything in that folder until you are absolutely sure that your project is fully completed and you have a master copy of your production burned to a DVD or produced to a master video file. After you've started working on your project, it's inevitable that one will think of an additional image or clip or a bit of audio that you'll want to add to your project. Now this file may already be in a home folder somewhere on your computer or one of your outboard auxiliary drives. Find that new file and send a copy of it to the temporary working folder and then import this copy from your working folder to PowerDirector's media library. Never import any project asset into your PowerDirector's library directly from that asset's home folder. Always only import a copy to PowerDirector's media library from the temporary working folder. Yes, this does require a few extra steps on your part at the beginning of each project. But employing this discipline can reap big rewards in the long run, especially for your larger or more complicated projects. Using this kind of project management workflow ensures that everything that PowerDirector needs, every time that you reopen a project to continue working on it, will always be there resting in that same working folder and your power director will always be able to find everything every time you reopen a project. By the way, let me just add a little tip here on saving your work in project to a PDS file. As we know, whenever we click on save, we create a PDS file. And each time we click on save, it adds our new editing commands by overriding the current PDS file that's in our temporary working folder. So clicking on save and doing it often is a good idea, right? Well, no, it's a bad idea. By only clicking on save and constantly overriding your current PDS file means all your saves are in this one and only PDS file that you keep on overriding. So if this one and only PDS file somehow becomes corrupt or is accidentally deleted, then you've lost everything. All those hours, days, maybe even weeks worth of work 
is now gone. Folks, never use save in the file menu. Always use the save as option and create a new separate PDS file each time you do a save by simply just adding a new number to it. This way, if you have a series of PDS files and something goes wrong with your last or most recent PDS file, you can always open your work in project again from the previously saved PDS file and not lose all your work. Don't put all your eggs in one PDS basket. Houston, we have a problem. Once you're satisfied that your project is fully completed and you've created your master DVD folder or produced your master video file, you may now want to export your project to a pack project folder for archiving. Okay, so now that you've saved your master video file and you're completely sure that you've completed this project and are done with it, you can now easily clean up by simply highlighting that temporary working folder and then deleting it. Because the working folder is only filled with copies of your project's original assets. And all your original files are still and always have been safely stored away in their original home folders. Though this method of project management does require a bit of discipline to maintain a temporary working folder, in the long run it's more than worth the effort. So give it a try and see if it's a good fit for you too.